We can evaluate the acid-base balance of the body through arterial blood gas sampling. In the following video, we will be interpreting ABG values using the tic-tac-toe three-step method. As you can see, we have our tic-tac-toe grid set up and we will be using values for pH, PaCO2, and HCO3 for our interpretation. The pH indicates the acidity or alkalinity of the blood. Normal ranges from 7.35 to 7.45 and anything below 7.35 is acidic and above 7.45 is basic. The PCO2 represents the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood. And this is our respiratory indicator and the indicator of compensation from metabolic imbalances. Normal is 35 to 45 millimeters per mercury. And values above 45 are considered acidic and indicate hypoventilation. And values below 35 are basic and indicate hyperventilation. The HCO3, aka the bicarbonate, is our metabolic indicator and an indicator of compensation from respiratory imbalances. Normal is 22 to 26 milliequivalents per liter. And values below 22 are acidic and values above 26 are basic. <clears throat> Back to our tic-tac-toe board. For understanding purposes, we have a patient who has a NG for decompression running continuous to low suction, an IV of normal saline at CKVO. Um, upon your assessment of the patient, you notice that they are putting out a large amount of fluid from the NG. Their respirate is quite slow. They have no bowel sounds. They appear to be weak, and they are only taking sips and chips. Therefore, an ABG analysis is ordered, and here are our results. The pH is 7.56. The HCO3 bicarb is 36. <clears throat> and our PaCO2 is 50. With these values, we are now ready to play tic-tac-toe. The 7.56, because it's over 7.45, is basic and represents alkalosis. Step one, done. Next we go on to our bicarb, which is 36, and that is also on the basic side, and this indicates that our patient is in metabolic alkalosis. Lastly, we look at the PaCO2, that is 50, and it is on the acidic side, so we put that under acid, and we know that because of this, and in reflection with our decreased rest rate, our patient is hypoventilating and therefore they are partially compensating. Therefore, they are in partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. Had the pH been normal, they would, the patient would be fully compensated.